so beautiful. So beautiful. This was probably one of my favorite things we did on this trip. This might be one of my favorite spots that we stopped at. And I will say this, it was my favorite part. Definitely one of my favorite parts of this trip. That was probably one of my favorite parts of this whole trip, just seeing all of that beauty. All right, here we go. Hello everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. First of all, I know I've been gone for a minute. I know I've been gone for a minute, but um, I'm back. <laughs> and this time I feel like it's for good reason because I went on a trip, I went on a vacation. Um, my boyfriend and I went to Vegas almost two weeks ago now. We're home now and while we were there, I did try to vlog as much as I could and just capture as much as, much as I could. Um, but when I got home and started kind of going through the footage, I realized I didn't really do any like talking for the vlog. Like I never really like updated you guys or like any of that. Honestly, I'm like not a good vlogger, but I did get a lot of footage um, and just really tried to capture as much as I could. So at least I have the footage and now I figured I could just sit down and kind of like recap it in the form of a voiceover. So that is what I'm gonna do today. And hopefully you guys enjoy seeing all the beauty that we did because we seriously saw so much. We were only gone for a week, but we saw so much. We flew into Vegas, but we also were able to visit some surrounding areas in Nevada and also Arizona and even Utah for a little bit. So it was just so much fun. We got to see so much and it was probably one of our favorite trips that we've taken so far, so. I'm excited and happy that I get to share this with you guys, um, so hopefully you enjoy the video. Before we get into it, if this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up on future videos. Also, if you're enjoying this video at any point, give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below. It does help me out a lot and I always love interacting with you guys in the comments as well. And without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So I started vlogging the minute we got to the airport, which was on Sunday, October 24th, at around 4.30 in the morning. Okay, where are we going? Vegas. Let's go. <laughs> we had a super early flight, so we obviously had to be at the airport early. Our flight was at, I think, seven something and we actually got there later than we were supposed to <laughs> but we got there around 4 30 and that is when i started filming we were both so excited so tired because we had slept like three hours but so excited it was our first trip since before the pandemic way before the pandemic so very excited on this first day or night whatever you want to call it <laughs> So we ended up having to take three flights, I think. I honestly can't remember if it was two flights or three flights, but it was a lot of flying. So by the time we got to Vancouver, which was our first layover, it was 9.30. Thank you for choosing it, Canada. It was really cool, honestly, to like watch the the landscape of like where we were change as we got to different places because we went like quite a ways. We tried to sleep on the flights, but that's always so hard. I don't know about you, but it's just like so hard for me. And I also like kind of get a little bit sick on planes and my ears pop like crazy. Thank you, merci. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. But anyway, tried to sleep on the flights as much as we could. Finally, finally, after so much flying, we got to Vegas. <laughs> it was so exciting to see the palm trees right as we pulled up. If you're from somewhere that doesn't have palm trees, I feel like that's so exciting to like see palm trees when you get there. <laughs> but anyway, get to Vegas and immediately it's like just different. Like even the airport, it's huge and there's like slot machines immediately and like loud music so much going on it's hard to even like take it all in but we pretty much just walked straight through we just wanted to get to our hotel at this point 
And where are you coming from? Uh, Canada. Awesome. Our Lyft driver was so nice. He told us he was in a band and he does Lyft, I guess just part-time um, when he can, just to make some extra money while he's in his band, which I thought was cool. Got to our hotel and our hotel was so cute. We stayed at the Tuscany, that's what it was called. It was like a 20, maybe 25 minute walk to the strip. We both really liked it, thought it was good. I would definitely stay there again. So on day one, after we got to our hotel, we basically just like put our stuff down and started walking right away to go explore. Um, I think we got to Vegas around like 3.30 or something in the afternoon. So like it was a lot of fun, you guys, like literally all morning. We were also starving because we'd been on planes all day. So we needed to eat. We knew that we wanted to get in and out because we had never been there before. We live in Canada, so we don't have in and out Well, maybe there's in and out in like Vancouver or, um, Toronto I don't know but we don't have it where we are so yeah went to in and out then just kept walking and exploring just seeing Vegas for the first time really We also got to see the fountain show at the Bellagio, which was so cool. I don't know if we ever actually went into the Bellagio Hotel. We must have, but we did get to like stand outside and watch the fountain show, which I think they do it like every 30 minutes or something every night. It was so cool. so cool and like just such beautiful weather like the weather every day we were there we were there was perfect aside from one day where it like sprinkled for a little bit but every other day we were there it was just gorgeous and then once the fountain show is over we just kept exploring <laughs> there's honestly so much to see in vegas it feels like you could never see it all like i definitely want to go back because i feel like there has to be stuff that we missed and it's just like there's too much to see um and not enough time but it was so fun. That pretty much wraps it up for day one. That was the first day we were in Vegas and I feel like we did so much that night. Like we got there and just started walking and like exploring and just, we wanted to just see as much as we could on the first night. Um, so we pretty much just like walked the strip, walked back, took some pictures here and there and yeah, just enjoyed the evening. And then for the rest of the trip, we actually had other plans like for the days for the most part. So we only really got to explore like in the evenings but this day this was day two and we were able to get up a little bit early and go we wanted to go get breakfast at chick-fil-a but we found out that this location didn't have breakfast <laughs> so we ended up just getting chick-fil-a for like breakfast i guess we were sad but <laughs> but we were still excited to get chick-fil-a because that's another thing we don't have in canada so yeah we were just excited to get chick-fil-a <laughs> And then in the evening this day, on day two, we ended up going to the Rio. We watched Penn and Teller. And then before that, we went to Top Golf, which was also super fun and also our first time doing that. So super fun night again on day two. And again, just like walking and exploring and kind of like seeing things here and there. And that was pretty much it for day two. I don't have a lot of footage from that day because we weren't out like a ton aside from in the evening. I unfortunately don't have any clips from Top Golf, but it's pretty straightforward, I guess. And then day three, we had an award ceremony to go to, um, so I don't have any footage of that, but that was day three. And of course, if we were all the way in Vegas, we wanted to see the Grand Canyon, so that was our plan for day four. We were so excited to go to the Grand Canyon. We did take a small detour. We decided to stop at the Hoover Dam. It's not really a detour because you do drive right past it, but we did spend a little bit more time than we were expecting there. Hoover Dam. It kind of like pushed us back um, for the rest of our schedule at the Grand Canyon, but it worked out and it was super cool to see it. Definitely worth the stop, I would say. 
So we did a walk on the Hoover Dam and then we also went to the other side and kind of looked at it from the other angle. So we did spend a good amount of time there. And there's a lot of shots in here of American flags because I just love how many American flags you see when you're in the States. Like, I feel like it's not like that in Canada. Again, when you're not from somewhere, the littlest things make you excited. I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But yeah, back on track, back to the Grand Canyon. We did make one other stop because we were right there um, on Route 66 and we pulled over and went to this little gift shop. We always have to get like something from somewhere we've been and it seems to be like a trend that we get magnets. So I picked up a magnet from Route 66. I thought that was super cool. And I'll show you guys at the end all the magnets I got on this trip. But yeah, stopped at Route 66, got a magnet, and then again, back on track, back to the Grand Canyon. And it was pretty cool. We like just got into the gates and maybe like two minutes into the gate, we saw wildlife. we just kept driving down the little Grand Canyon trail and we did make a few different stops um, just to see it from like different angles but we ended the desert view and at this point the sun was setting so we couldn't go farther but I think the view is actually the last stop anyway we did miss a whole bunch on the way there but we wanted to go to desert view um, and yeah we just stayed here till the sun was setting my boyfriend took some pictures and we just kind of enjoyed the sunset and left after that because once it gets dark in the Grand Canyon you don't really want to you don't really want to be there for much longer it gets so insanely dark and I wish I had captured this but it was pretty much impossible to capture how many stars you can see I don't think I've ever seen that many stars like so clearly and just so full it was so beautiful but yeah um, watched the sunset at the desert viewpoint and then drove back all the way to our next hotel because now we're in the Grand Canyon. Morning. Hello. <laughs> 5.34. And we were supposed to leave four minutes ago actually. But yeah, it's our hotel in Tucson. That's the bathroom. <laughs> and shower. Shower, toilet. All the good stuff do, do, do. So yeah, that's our hotel <laughs> and we're off. We woke up super early to um, get up and watch the sunset and get pictures. Sunrise and sunset at Grand Canyon are like the best times for pictures. So we tried our best to be there for both. So yeah, we woke up at five something, five or something like that and our plan was to leave at 5 30 so that we could get there and get enough time to be there for the sunrise we did go to a different location this time just to get a different view um for sunrise and you guys it was so beautiful it was super windy this day and super cold but it was honestly so worth it it was so beautiful being able to watch the sunrise over the grand the grand canyon like if you're ever able to go to the grand canyon 
definitely try to go for sunrise and sunset if you can because it's just so beautiful. It's so worth it. It's definitely worth getting up at 5.34. So on day four, we stayed in Tucson, Arizona, and on day five, we stayed in Page. This is day five here, and we made our way from the Grand Canyon to this place called Horseshoe Bend, um, which I don't know if it's in Page or near it, but somewhere in that area. And this was so beautiful. This might be one of my favorite spots that we stopped at. It was just so like breathtaking. Um, but I mean, so is the Grand Canyon, so. <laughs> Um, but it was so beautiful and just crazy like how big it is like just all of these canyons it's so crazy to like be there and to be able to see like the scale of it and just how big they really are like it's so cool um so i loved horseshoe bend and we did have a scheduled tour after this that we ended up being late for okay we're on the antelope canyon next door why are we driving behind this guy? Um, because we were late. <laughs> um, we didn't know that our our tour time was for 12 and it's 12.13. So luckily they squeezed us in. We're just driving in our little Kia Sedona rental between these two vans. But it worked out. So now let's go on the tour. So yeah, thankfully they squeezed us in. He was like, it's okay like we'll just put you in the next one and he ended up saying like this would be a bigger group the one before would have been a lot more quiet which is unfortunate but it worked out we were just, just thankful that they still squeezed us in they could have been like sorry no you're late because we were half an hour late um and we thought that the time was for 12 30. <sighs> but yeah luckily they squeezed us in so it worked out we were still able to go on this tour um and you guys have to see how beautiful this is mind-blowing so this is called antelope canyon x um, there's a few different ones i think there's upper lower and then canyon x it was so beautiful so beautiful this was probably one of my favorite things we did on this trip just because it's like unexplainable how beautiful it is um and just to see it's just so cool to see um i'm just so glad we did this and so glad that they let us do it even though we were late and then once that was over that was pretty much it for arizona and then from arizona we went to utah so third state of this trip that we were in we were like really getting to the end of our trip at this point i think this would have been day five still it's so hard to remember going back now but it was in the same day as antelope canyon so we basically just went from antelope canyon straight into utah so there was a lot of driving on this trip a lot of flying and a lot of driving but but yeah stopped at culver's for some food and then just went straight on the road into utah straight to zion national park Whoa. Oh my goodness. and you guys this was so beautiful even just the drive there like you can kind of see the canyons and like the rocks start to change so cool so this road that you go through um through zion national park is stunning there's like red rocks tunnels all over like it's just such a beautiful drive um and you just drive through and you can stop at all these little pullovers or there's trails that you can do um we did we did one trail a little bit later which you guys will see but yeah we just drove this and it was like stunningly beautiful we both really loved being in zion and for some reason i like stopped getting footage on my camera i think it was at some point around here actually that my camera ran out of space so i had to switch to my phone so some of these clips are vertical instead of horizontal just bear with me for this shot right here this was at i forget what the name of this bridge is but there was this shot that my boyfriend really wanted to get but to get that shot you have to be on you have to be on this bridge um like standing or driving whatever but they no longer let anybody stand walk or stop their car on that bridge so it's kind of impossible to get this shot i mean unless you want to like break the law but 
Um, but he was determined to find another way to get this shot. And you guys, you should have seen. I wish somebody would have like recorded us from from the bridge where you're supposed to stand, the other bridge. Um, we were like climbing up the side of this really fragile rock. This was probably not a smart idea, but he really wanted to get this shot. Um, so we climbed up like the side of this mountain to get this shot. It was super dangerous, but it was very beautiful once you got up there. Um, and this was also like racing against the clock because this was like the sun was just about to set here and he really didn't want to miss the last little bit of sunlight or daylight. So, um, so yeah, we climbed up the side of this mountain and g he got the shot, <laughs> but, um, it was pretty intense. I wish I had more footage from this, but, but yeah, that was a fun story. So after we were done there, we just walked back. Now we're starting at the next day, which would be day six of our trip. Um, and now we were back in the same area. So we had already like gone to our hotel, stayed the night, came back the next day um, for sunrise. And we ended up being a little bit late for this. We didn't like fully account for the 20 minute hike that we had to take to get to this um, location. So we ended up like kind of missing sunrise. We still like saw the end of it, but we missed like the first bit of sunrise, which was kind of sad. But we did this hike, 20 minutes, um, and then this is the view from the top. So beautiful. And this is called Canyon Overlook. And I mean, look at this view, you guys. It looks like a postcard, doesn't it? So beautiful. So from Canyon Overlook, we went to, back to Zion and we decided to take the bus. There's like this bus tour that takes you on this route that you can't drive like with your car. Such a beautiful drive, mountains beside you and just so much beauty, like the clearest rivers you've ever seen. And basically it just takes us through this little trail um, and you are allowed to stop like wherever you like. I think there was like four or five stops. Unfortunately, I only have vertical clips of this but um once we got off we got off at i think the last stop and oh, we saw so much beauty i'm just gonna play it and you guys can just see it for yourselves because i can't even i don't even know what to say it's just so beautiful and i will say this it was my favorite part i don't want to say it so definitively but it was definitely one of my favorite parts of this trip these moments right here So yeah, that was probably one of my favorite parts of this whole trip, just seeing all of that beauty. It, it's hard to even explain how beautiful and peaceful it is just being there. Breathtaking. So beautiful. So we ended up spending a few hours in Zion um, in pretty much the same area. And then once we were done, um, we did have plans to go back to Nevada um, to see one more thing and see one more sunset because this was day six of our trips. This was pretty much the end of it, sadly. <laughs> but we did make our way back all the way to Nevada. And our next stop was the Valley of Fire, which I believe is a state park. And we had to go through this really interesting looking town. I don't remember the name of it, but the road that you take to get there like goes right through a town with, again, a lot of American flags. <laughs> and then eventually we made our way to the Valley of Fire State Park. 
and this was so beautiful again like probably one of my favorite parts of the trip um i feel like the views just kept getting more and more beautiful like the longer we were there oh, the valley of fire was so cool i'm so glad we did it we saw quite a bit of wildlife um i forget what these things are called some kind of sheep and just the views the views were insane in the valley of fire we probably were there for a few hours again um it did take us some time like to drive back to nevada obviously but once we were there we were there till sunset and we just were there until it was dark because again took some pictures <laughs> um and also just wanted to take it all in because it was so beautiful and you guys we saw the most beautiful sunset there it was like one of those sunsets that's like it's still going after it's already gone do you know what i mean but yeah so much beauty so glad we went there it was incredible um and my boyfriend got some really amazing pictures from there too um so good it was so good <laughs> but yeah that was pretty much the end of our little canyon trip from there we went back to vegas that same night and basically from there we just spent the last night in vegas we ended up seeing fremont street that night we actually didn't get out of the car <laughs> we wanted to but it was so crazy there were so many people there because there were concerts and it was halloween that night or the day before i don't know it was people were celebrating halloween and it was just crazy wild so many people everywhere and like nowhere to park and we were just like you know what let's just drive so we took like a couple of circles um to see fremont street and it was crazy like i can't wait to go back to vegas and see it again and hopefully walk that time because it was crazy but yeah after that we just drove down the strip one last time which was cool because we kind of got to drive like down the full strip because we came into vegas from the other side from where we had been before if that makes sense so yeah drove down the strip we were listening to music it was just so fun such a good way to end the trip honestly and then we stayed at the hyatt i think that's how you say it and it was such a nice hotel i hope i have footage that i can put in here for you guys to see because it was like so nice we weren't honestly expecting it to be that nice but it was <laughs> um best hotel we stayed in by far and probably the one that we were there for the least amount of time for <laughs> which is too bad but stunning hotel stayed there and then the next morning we got up we had to get covid tests which we're not going to talk about because it's irrelevant and then yeah basically went straight to the airport we got chick-fil-a again that day went to the airport and the trip came to an end and this was actually halloween day so the day before was the 30th and yeah that pretty much brings us to the end of our trip i'm still so sad <sighs> and actually i should have said this before i actually got really sick on the way there on the way back it was fine but we actually had one less flight too um but yeah on the way there right now i'm remembering on the way there we went we flew to Ka uh yeah we flew to calgary then vancouver then vegas so on the last flight like to vegas i got so sick you guys i got so sick <laughs> i actually threw up which tmi maybe but that was the first time i actually had to use like the sick sickness bags that they give you or that they put in the seat <sighs> not fun not fun at all but eventually i felt better i mean we were in vegas now so i was like <laughs> but anyway yeah back to the end of the trip on the end of the trip i didn't get sick but yeah um we had two flights we flew from vegas to vancouver and then to, from vancouver to home and it was sad it was really sad to be back honestly <laughs> and the funny thing was the first thing we noticed is how cold it was because the weather in vegas is so nice like it's literally perfect all the time and then obviously we live in canada where it's cold most of the year and it's november now this was on halloween but 
Um, yeah, it's cold weather season, that's for sure. <laughs> so we immediately like get out of the airport and we're like, like it's so cold. But um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of our trip. Um, we, like I said, we were like sad to be back, <laughs> and that's kind of always how it is when you go on like a really fun trip. Um, but we also just felt so thankful that we were able to see so much and we just had such a good time it was so fun the whole way through um and everything like pretty much went to plan and it was a pretty like strict plan for the most part so yeah um it's definitely a trip that we're gonna remember for a long long time and yeah <laughs> um so that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed like this style of video and like just kind of hearing the recap and seeing it um, of our little Vegas canyons trip. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below. Let me know which place looks like it would be your favorite. Like which one do you want to visit? <laughs> <laughs> or which place have you visited that you really loved so yeah looking forward to chatting with you guys in the comments remember to like subscribe if you're not already hit the notification bell follow me on instagram tiktok all that good stuff it's all linked in the description if you are interested but that is it for today so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one bye